One summer's day, in a small house near the woods, there lived a little girl whose name was Goldilocks. Goldilocks, where are you? I'm in the garden, Mama. Well, don't go away. Your meal will be ready soon, and don't play in the woods. No, Mama. Goldilocks stood very still and looked around and realized she was lost. Nearby in a tiny cottage in the woods there lived a family of three bears. A daddy bear, a mommy bear, and a wee baby bear. Come along, said mommy bear. This porridge is far too hot. We'll take a little walk before breakfast. Goldilocks, seeing a balloon floating over the trees, started off down the path towards it. Very soon, she came across the bear's cottage. Hello, is anyone at home? said Goldilocks. Finding herself inside a strange house, she was a little frightened. She was also very hungry. She dipped into the big bowl of porridge, but it was far too hot. Then she tried the middle-sized bowl, but it was all gooey. But when she tried the baby bowl, it was just right, and she gobbled it all up. She felt much better now and decided that nice people must live there, and they would surely show her the way home when they returned. She looked for somewhere to sit. The big daddy chair was too high. The middle-sized mummy chair was far too soft. Then she tried the baby chair. It was just right. She was so pleased she began to rock backwards and forwards until suddenly... She looked at the broken chair and remembered the times her mummy had told her not to rock in her chair in case she fell. Well, now she had fallen and broken the chair. She looked out of the window to see if anyone was coming, but no one was in sight. Sadly, she turned away and climbed the stairs and found herself in a big bedroom. There was a big daddy bed, a middle-sized mummy bed, and a wee baby bed. Feeling sleepy, she tried to climb on the big daddy bed. It was very high and very hard. So she, she tried the middle-sized mummy bed, but it was too soft, and the cover was so slippery she slid off onto the floor. And then she lay on the baby bed, and it was just right. In fact, it was so comfortable she fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the bears had returned from their walk. The big daddy bear peered into his bowl and said, Who's been eating my porridge? The middle-sized mummy bear said. And someone's been eating my porridge. While the little bear cried, for someone had eaten all of his porridge, every bit. The big daddy bear went to his chair and said, Someone's been sitting on my chair. Now, someone has been sitting on my chair, said the middle-sized mummy bear. And the wee baby bear cried again and said, Someone's been sitting on my chair and has broken off the legs. The bears were puzzled. They decided to look upstairs. The big daddy bear looked at his bed and said, Someone's been lying on my bed. The middle-sized mummy bear said crossly, Someone's been lying on my bed. While the wee baby bear cried out, Someone's been sleeping on my bed and there she is. Poor Goldilocks woke up suddenly. Oh dear, oh dear, she cried, and she was so frightened she jumped straight out of the window. She ran down the path and into the woods as fast as she could, and she didn't stop running until she saw her tiny teddy bear lying on the ground. Looking up, she saw her garden gate. Quickly, she ran inside, just in time to hear her mother calling, Goldilocks, 
Goldilocks, where are you? So Goldilocks went inside and ate her lunch, which was just right, and never wandered into the woods again.